everybody at Urban Off-Road. This is going to be video number two of the uh, budget Overland trailer build. Um, today, we are going to be doing a few things. Trying to get a few things done, anyhow. Um, the S10 bed that is on the trailer is no longer wanted. Um, I will be giving that away for free to one of my lucky subscribers. Um, so if you haven't subscribed and you want a free S10 bed, it's like an 88 to 93-ish um, S10 bed. If you can use it and you're in the local Phoenix, Arizona area, get at me and you're welcome to come pick it up. Um, so today, we're actually going to be cutting that bed off of this frame. We are no longer going to be using that as part of the project. We are upgrading massively to the bed or platform, I should say, um, that's going on this build. And um, I think you're going to like it. I'm not going to give any hints because that's going to be in another couple episodes. But for now, um, we're going to get this bed off of the frame and uh, we're going to paint the frame and we're going to try to get this thing ready to put what new piece of equipment is going to be going on it. So, so if you haven't seen episode one, go back and watch that one first. It's a very, very short five minute video. Just shows you the trailer itself and what it's about. Um, this is episode two and uh, you want to stay caught up because there's going to be a lot of things happening in this next probably three, four, five episodes. I'm not sure how many is going to go on because I don't know how many parts and products I'm going to be getting in soon. I do have a lot of emails coming in and emails being sent out uh, for product and supply and we'll see what comes in. We'll see what doesn't. So let me get this camera flipped around. I'm going to do a real quick walkthrough on the trailer again, show you what it looks like now. Uh, we're going to get this bed taken off. We're going to get the wiring taken off. Um, I'm going to have to put some temporary wiring on because the new part that I'm going to go get, I'm going to have to take the trailer with me to go get. So let's get started. Do not mind the messy backyard. I have kids and we work full time and it's an absolute mess. So anyhow, this is the Project Overland trailer. Um, it is a 88 to 93, I want to say. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. 88 to 93-ish um, GMC or Chevy S10 bed. Um, the frame itself is a 2x4 steel tubing frame, square tube frame. Um, I have this cool little box section up top that I was thinking might perfectly fit a refrigerator and maybe a short pull-out drawer for a stove or something else but it's kind of it's kind of low to the ground as you can see there's not it's only maybe two and a half feet off of the ground right now it will be lifted and i will have bigger tires and better rims and all that good stuff but for now it's just not going to work out for that so i'm thinking a refrigerator right there maybe i can find some kind of enclosure to put on right here uh, with a drawer that opens up and then i can have the fridge slide out with the stove and and whatever else I can put there on this side. On this side, I'm thinking um, a water tank underneath with a hot water system, and that will be my sink area slash shower accessory area. And then this is the bed that I will be giving away for free to one of my subscribers. If you email me or you message me or you send a comment, however you wanna reach out to me, um, do it uh, but if you're not a subscriber and you're reaching out to me for this bed for free um, you won't get it it's only gonna go to one of my subscribers so subscribe away um, as you can see I mean there's really nothing wrong with this bed uh, it does have some body damage a little bit of character you know along the ways but all in all this thing is it's not all that heavy for being a steel trailer. And that's the other thing, guys. It's a steel trailer, you know? This thing is pretty serious uh, use of a bed if you need it. So there that is. I'm not going to get too much more into that. Um, 
Next, let's go underneath the trailer and I will show you the stitch welds. So here's the underneath of the trailer. Um, you can see the stitch weld here. There are a lot of them going down the bed of this trailer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get you set up somewhere in the middle and uh, we'll do a fast forward throughout this whole process and I'm just going to start cutting away. Uh, I've only gotten two of the stitch welds cut and um, I don't even know if they're cut through all the way um, but I've got to take a break I completely underestimated this guy's girls they them's ability to weld I thought it was just gonna be a pretty decent stitch weld and it ended up being a pretty fat real thick and deep into the frame itself I thought it was just gonna be along the bed where it connects to the frame but it actually goes in like as if the bed was raised off of the frame just a bit and then welded from there um, so it's a pretty thick weld uh, I've only gotten two of them cut so far so four total uh, stitch welds but only two spots you get it so one on the inside one on the outside one on the inside one on the outside so four total so um, I'm going to go ahead and stop filming for now and just get the rest of these cut. Um, it, it's pretty boring, I think, to watch me sit there and try to cut these things. And I don't honestly know how long it's going to take, and I don't want you to see me fast-forwarding through me cutting all this crap. So I'm going to get back to you when I'm ready to get this bed off of the frame. So wish me luck. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these taillights off get the wiring off uh, I've got the front cut off um, I'm about to cut off the back but before I do I want to make sure it's nice and secure because I got to get these tail lights off and get the wiring out um, so once I cut it off if it decides to slide or move it's not going to cut or crimp or cut any of my wires or uh, screw up my electrical that I spent way too long doing so I'm gonna get started on that How you doing everybody this is day two of the trailer overland build um, so day one uh, we got the bed taken off uh, took way longer than what I thought it was gonna take um, definitely underestimated the builder of said unit so we're gonna take off all the surface rust and we're gonna repaint this frame so when we go to pick up our new platform we don't have to worry about painting it once the new platform is already on the frame. So I'm not sure if we have to weld on the new platform or if I can bolt it on or if there's different options. I don't know. I won't know until I actually get the platform that's going on here to see how it's doing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward 
all of this. You don't need to see me grinding for two hours on a trailer. I thought I was going to powder coat it and do all kind of cool stuff, but the powder coating is minimum three weeks out and uh, just, just to get it in. And then who knows how long to get it back. So I don't want to wait that long. So I'm just going to throw some paint on it and uh, it's going to get all screwed up and messed up going off road anyhow. So I'm not real too worried about it. So we're going to get some paint on this frame and then we're going to go get our platform and then you will see what's going to be going on here. So stay tuned. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up, get it painted, and we will get back. and gentlemen it's not the prettiest job in the world but it will do so i've got it painted all the way up to here and then down because the bed hopefully will sit on this line and go back i think it's actually going to be back a little bit further um the new platform that we're putting on because the wheel well the wheel well is pretty close to the end so I think it's actually gonna come over here and it might hang off the back a little bit. I'm hoping not, because if that's the case, in the future, I'm going to be moving this axle forward um, all the way up to here. So I can do the, what is it, 70, 30, 60, 40, whatever that percentage is, I forget. But anyway, the trailer's pretty badass, I like it. I like it a lot. It's just a square tube frame does its job, does what it's supposed to do. Um, I've got electric brakes on that side, but I have nothing on this side. This side is lug nuts, that side is lug bolts. Um, I don't like that either, so I'm gonna be going and getting new hubs to fit my um, Jeep wheels that I'm gonna be getting. I'm gonna be getting some five on five Rubicon wheels with some 33s to, to go onto the trailer, just some stock takeoffs, nothing special just to match a little bit better when I'm rolling down the road. And uh, yeah, so this is it. I'm gonna be getting the taillights put back on here. I'm just gonna zip tie them or bungee them or something to the end here. I'm gonna run the wire back down and uh, I'm gonna get this thing ready to go pick up the new, the new uh, platform we're putting on. So next time you see me, we will be picking up the new platform. going on urban off-road do not mind the mess um this is day four or five lost track of this trailer build 
And um, I've been running around like a madman trying to find all the parts that I need to get this done in a timely manner and also get a video posted that you guys will actually like to watch. Um, a lot of things have been going on with my trailer build. Um, it's uh, behind me here. As you can see, I've got the new platform on. Uh, hopefully you can't really tell what it is right now, but I've got the new platform on. Uh, I got, I had to go and get a new axle for underneath. I gotta get new leaf spring perches uh, to move the axle forward a little bit to match the new bed. And also the axle is five on four and a half. And I've got a four and a half to five on five spacer adapter and it doesn't work um, because it is a hub centric spacer the uh the hub centric part the part that likes to fit nice and snug in the hub um, is too small i need a 71 millimeter bore to match the gladiator bore and this one has like a wj bore so um it's just not gonna work out for me. I tried to, as you can see with the markings and everything, I tried to mill it out and get rid of that hub-centric part because I don't need it and honestly it serves no purpose anyways. So um, I've been doing what I can on this trailer, but let me show you what I've got so far. The 2021 Gladiator bed complements of Wolf Off-Road. You can find them at wolf4x4.com for all your off-road needs. Um, I got a brand new Dexter rear axle. It's a 2,000 pound axle. I don't need a 3,500 pound axle. I'm not hauling that much stuff. and don't plan on hauling 3,500 pounds worth of crap in the back of this thing. So I got the 2,000 pound Dexter axle. Uh, I've welded on some new perches there uh, to mount that up. I've actually got to move these over about four inches. So almost to the edge of this frame here. Um, as you can see my markings on the bed here and the hub itself, it's off. So I've got to center this hub over a bit. So when I do put the wheels on, it doesn't look like they're way in the back over here. It looks centered like it's supposed to. Um, now this bed does have damage on it. Um, it's the joys of having a shop that you can build things to go and play with. Um, so it does have damage on it. If anybody knows of anybody in the Peoria, Glendale, Phoenix area that does body work and is willing to come out and help out with the channel, uh, make some videos and do a little cross promotion. Uh, I do need body work on this side and it's quite a bit worse on the other side. Um, also, I did get the receiver also from Wolf Off-Road. And that way, once I mount the bumper, I'm getting the factory gladiator bumper uh, on here. It's basically gonna look like I'm pulling a gladiator with a gladiator. That's the idea. <clears throat> and as you can see, this side's got quite a bit more damage. Um, it's all superficial. Um, I'm not too worried about it. The bed is what was important to me, getting something I wanna match, you know what I mean? I wanna look good going down the road. So this is what I've got so far, guys. Today, I will be making it a roller. Um, I ordered some new uh, hub spacers to go from the four on five on four and a half to five on fives, but they are not hub centric and they are 71.2 millimeter bore, so they will just bolt right on. I do have some old JK factory wheels that I'm going to go ahead and throw on it for now, uh, but I will be getting a set of gladiator wheels to put on there as well. <clears throat> um, the bed is Rhino lined from factory and as you can see there's nothing wrong with this bed nothing wrong with this uh, body at all aside from the superficial damage 
Um, I gained some space on the frame because this is a five foot bed and the bed that we took off, that S10 bed was actually a six foot bed. So I gained uh, about 11 or so inches here. Um, so I'm thinking putting the water tank there to get a little bit more weight on the tongue. And then I'm gonna have a full drawer system pull out with the refrigerator, stove, and all that good stuff is all gonna be up here. And then back here, I wanna put a deck uh, system back here for all the gear, camping gear, stuff like that. And uh, I'm gonna get a service body cab on the top of it, I'm thinking. Um, by the way, I'm just gonna get a tailgate and call it a day. But all in all, guys, this is where I'm at so far. Sorry I haven't been filming. Um, the uh, with everything going on, it just it just wasn't working out. So, all right, guys, I appreciate you sticking with me throughout this video. On the next episode, we will be having this trailer be a roller. Um, I will get the wheel spacers today, actually. So when this video posts, um, it should already be a roller, and I will have the film already for that. Um, but it's Friday, and these videos got to go up. Otherwise, you guys don't want to watch them. Yeah, I don't know what Friday is, but Friday's a big day for you guys. So uh, I'm going to post this video the way that it is now. And uh, next week's video, it will be a roller. The bed will be fully mounted. Um, I'll have taillights, electrical, uh, and hopefully something on the back cab or a deck system. I'm still waiting on a few partners to come through and see what they're going to send me for this. Uh, for this build so we'll see what comes in uh, if anything at all in time and uh, we'll go from there remember as always to like comment share and subscribe and um, thank you guys and I'll see you next time